You know, your relationship with your girlfriends is such an important one, and we want to talk a little bit about taking it to the next level, perhaps. Dr. Karen Gordon is here. <laughs> this all started, you yes. came up with this topic and came to us with it, because this all started from some research you were doing uh, for an article you were going to have in Chatelaine magazine. Yes, so I uh, had me with Leanne George Chatelaine talking about different things that women talk about, and one of them is around feedback. What are the kind of uh, comments that we actually say to our girlfriends, and what are the things we don't say to our girlfriends? Mm -hmm. And so I ended up chatting with three of my girlfriends that night, and I said, okay, what are the things that we, we don't talk about? And in that conversation, basically figured out um, that they had some feedback for me, um, but the funny part was I actually had specifically asked them, I said, what do you think about my hair? Okay, so I have to I have to create some context, okay? Oh, so you, uh, you put it out there. Well, yeah, and I just kind of like, you know, we're having a glass of wine, we're in our pajamas, it's a slumber party, right? right. So, uh, and then I am telling you, Tracy, as soon as I kind of, it's almost like they've been waiting for the invitation, okay? <laughs> so we're drinking our glass of wine, I'm like, so what do you think about my hair? And then all of a sudden, I'm not kidding you, my girlfriend comes around, she jumps out of her chair, and says, Karen, we've got to do something with your hair, oh, and they wow. like start playing with my hair, and then they're like, you know what, your hair, you got to like step it up, and <laughs> in this whole conversation the next day I get emails from my girlfriends on pictures of different this hairstyles. This is what you should do with yes. your hair. Okay, yes. well, I want to know, let's <laughs> rewind a little bit and go back to that space. Did you have a little teardrop or were you like, <laughs> were you like, yeah, bring it on? Because your girlfriends, I mean, yeah. whose opinion is more important than that? Your girlfriends, your, your partner, yeah. you know, your parents, those, those people in your life, they mean a lot to you. So were you number one shocked? Were you number two hurt? Uh, no, I mean, I was enjoying my glass of red wine. I will yeah. tell you, so that always, <laughs> if you want to receive feedback, you won't just feel like a lot yeah, of pain. No, it was just kind of like, well, it, was, it was a very much of a chilled thing. Yeah. But these are three of my closest girlfriends. Right. And so I think it does have to do a little bit with who is saying it and how they're saying it. But I was very surprised. You were a little shocked. With how into it they were. <laughs> I mean, getting emails and photos the next day and they're jumping around, they're playing with it. And wow. and so it really, it just, it's interesting of what are the things that you, you don't tell your girlfriends that you kind of would like to tell your right. girlfriends? Uh, it's, it's, it's an interesting situation yeah. because for me, when it comes to the looks of my girlfriends, yeah. I actually, I just don't care. If you yeah. really want to yeah. know and yeah. you really want and me to break it down it. and you're asking yeah. for it, maybe you're in a new professional environment and you don't know how to dress right. and you want me to come with mm -hmm. you shopping, oh, I'm there for you honey yeah. Yeah. but in terms of like I'm not sure if I would even pick up on anything you wanting like you needing to change your hair yeah because yeah. I, I see you and I just see my girlfriend right right but right, I mean right. if, I guess yeah. if you're asking but if I asked it, you they yes. were obviously yes. they had obviously yes. been thinking about yes. it right I know and this is the fascinating thing with friends is that we think things but we don't necessarily say it yeah and it does depend on whether or not it's something kind of like more trivial like you know like hair and fashion yeah but it is you know when you have really great girlfriends it is a great place to have that space where it's you you can, it's safe, and you can be brutally honest. Right. That's what your girlfriend should be there yes. for. Yes. Yeah. I just think appearance for me, it doesn't usually, uh, it doesn't usually come up. So let's talk a little bit about um, if you're in a situation and you're dying to say yes. something uh, to a girlfriend, how you do it the right okay, way. Okay. So the tip number one is, well, first of all, we can always ask, and I'll be honest with you, it yeah. is dangerous to ask for your own feedback. Absolutely. Right? So and I mean, you, you got to be, you want to hear the you answer. Have to, you have to be willing to hear the answer. So, yeah. and so you have to be very careful with who you're going to choose. But uh, in terms of actually, if, if you want to tell your girlfriend something, number one is you want to get the invite. This is yeah. kind of a little bit of a trick to yeah. it. I actually learned this from my mother. Mm -hmm. um, where as a teenager she would say to me because I'm a very spirited child mm -hmm. she would say to me she goes Karen can I tell you something without you trying to get upset mm -hmm. and what it would do was it would kind of like I'd kind of be kind of curious well okay right, right. and now I'm giving her permission to yeah. actually give me that kind of feedback and it is a great strategy with spirited kids Okay. It's a great right. strategy with spirited kids, but also when you're when you're trying to give feedback to, that's just a little bit tricky. It's a little bit prickly. You're like, can I give you some feedback without you trying to get it with, without you getting defensive? Right. And it prepares the person, and then they can say either yes or no. Yeah, but who's really going to say no? Well, exactly. But exactly. That's what but that's what exactly what if they point. don't really want to hear the information? But now they're saying, oh my goodness, you're dying it's to there, tell the, me this. I know, thing. but you know what? That, that's their problem. Okay. <laughs> All right. Totally so you problem. just you just have to know who you are you, and know that absolutely. if you really can't handle it, then, then you say, you know what? I think I'll pass. Okay. <laughs> then I think I'll pass. And it is. I'm gonna take a pass on I'm that. I'm gonna take a pass on that. And you know, it's an amazing way to kind of like you're 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 asking the per person's permission. Can I give you some feedback without okay. you getting defensive? And people right. can say yes or no. But generally, people are gonna say yes because they're very curious. For sure. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. Okay, so be curious, and then your heart gets broken. <laughs> well, like, you I just have to hear that. And then sometimes people are like, I'm not sure. So sometimes people will say that, I'm not sure. Yeah. So you know what, then think about it. 
think let me about th that. think about it. Let me know because I'd love to share with you some feedback. I just want I want to make sure that you you're want okay to, to hear you're it. okay to hear it Got exactly. It. Okay, what's yes. your second tip? A uh, second tip is then you have to explain why. You need to explain why you're actually giving some feedback. Yeah, that's important. It's very important that people understand the why. I, when in my in my twenties, um, I had a very good girlfriend who was dating a guy. Let me tell you, he was like deadbeat. Like he was just mm. not going anywhere. Mm -hmm. It was a bad scene, mm -hmm. and nobody else is saying anything. Mm. And I, this is the time when I was doing my masters in counseling. You're learning about the importance of being assertive and talking, and you know, you know, if you really love your friends, you're going to be honest with them. And I thought I need to say, I need to share it with her. And I said, yeah. you know, I'm r deeply concerned because of you. I'm deeply concerned with how he treats you. I'm deeply concerned with your commitment level. And I explained the why. Yeah. And that seemed to, um, she was able to hear it better. Got it was it. still very difficult. Yeah. And it's even harder when she's like, well, you're the only one that's telling me the bad feedback. But I was the only one that was saying it. Right. And Everyone what do we do as women? It. We don't say it. We right. were so nervous to give feedback that we kind of hold those kind of thoughts to kind of ourselves. I think we think our relationships are very fragile. Yes. And they're not that fragile. They're not that fragile. They can actually stand a lot. Yes. Yeah. That yes. is a great example. I love that. Because yeah. I, I, I would and I have stepped have. up and said stuff. But a lot yeah. of people don't. A lot of girlfriends yeah. are so afraid of losing the friend. Right. And to be quite honest, that could happen. And it could happen. And it could happen. But you I have mean, to go in knowing it's important enough for you to put it out there. But that just means you really love the person. Exactly. Right? Exactly. And that's the why. So the other, uh, the other tip you say is instead of focusing on what she shouldn't do, focus on what she should do. And I like that. You're putting sort of a positive spin on it. Absolutely. And a lot of times, again, when we're giving feedback, we, we tend to do what they call a double negative. So, well, yeah. don't do that, don't do that, don't do that. And it's, well, A, it's just negative. Mm -hmm. um, but B, it's, you're not really constructively telling the person with what they could be doing instead. Yeah, you're not helping me. You're not helping it. So, you know, back to my, the hair scenario. And uh, by the way, because of that feedback, yeah. um, the next time I'm going to be here on City Line, we're going to be having a little something different. Oh. Ooh. And that was the feedback is they said, well, Karen, instead of saying, well, your hair's too flat and your hair's too thin, you got the, you know, you're, you know, instead of telling me all the things yeah, that I was hearing, it. right, they're saying, what about if you did it this way? Yeah. And that's what we call a, you know, it's more of a positive spin. And right. so the next time I'm on, you're going to see what the positive spin hopefully looks like. It's going to be a makeover. <laughs> well, I don't know. We'll see. But it, it was all kind of spearheaded from that conversation. I think that you uh, have to be sort of very, um, you have to know yourself very well, be a, an emotionally mature person yes, and absolutely. put it out there you did all of those things when you got that feedback and I think that's a good lesson for folks out there that might be thinking oh my god I would be way too sensitive to take that yes it's coming from a good place it's coming from they a good love place. you they love you and I think that's why it's so important to focus on the intent of who's actually giving it and why they're actually giving it for sure yeah good stuff all right I can't wait to see the makeover